everyone, I'm Yolanda Darville and I'm here to tell you what's up at the harvest. I hope you got a chance to attend the ministry fair last week. It was awesome. Potential volunteers got to come out and learn about all the different serving opportunities. Now, if you're interested in serving, just fill out your connection card today. Make sure you indicate which serving opportunity you're interested in. Harvest Bowl is coming up again and you wanna make sure you're there. It's gonna be on Friday, February 1st at 7 p.m. Now don't worry if you're not a bowler because I'm not much of a bowler either. There are pool tables, there are arcade games for the kids, and there's lots of delicious food. Again, that's Friday, February 1st at 7 p.m. $15 covers entrance and one game of bowling, pizza, and soft drinks. And for the children under 12, that also covers 10 arcade tokens. So mark your calendars. You don't wanna miss out on the fun and fellowship. Be sure to be there. Now I have a very important announcement. Next week, there will be no regular worship experience on Saturday, January 26th. Instead, we want to invite everyone to attend a live anti-gambling broadcast. It's going to be right here at the Harvest at 5 p.m. This is a very special live event that we encourage all church attendees and members to attend. Very important information will be given out as it relates to the upcoming referendum and your decision in voting. We look forward to seeing you next Saturday right here at 5 p.m. Small groups are kicking off soon. If you haven't signed up, you want to make sure you do it today. When you sign up, think only of the benefits. After all, people aren't there to gossip about you. Hi, Lisa. Welcome to our small group. We're so happy you can join us. We welcome new members, so we're really excited that you're here. Um, one of our members isn't here, uh, Patrice. Um, um, I think she, her mm. son, he's in trouble again with the law, so she yeah. had to go to the police station. Um, so To bail him out again. Well, yeah. And, you know, he's on drugs. and Robbing people. Yeah. So, you know, it's an ongoing battle for her. And then her husband, boy, her husband. We have to pray for her. Yeah. yeah you know, because her husband can't keep a job and then you know our son's always in some trouble with the law and then he's on drugs and just all kind of things and so when she is here she's quite miserable but you yeah. know we just keep praying for and her sometimes and she don't come up she can't iron because the light is off yeah and then i tried to call then, her last week and the phone was off yeah and, things are yeah. tough for her yeah and then yeah. her sister oh lord help her sister well she's in our small group too but yeah, she's not here small group. Mm -hmm. she's also struggles with drugs and yeah. i think she was she was off drugs for a she while was able to say, but every now and again she goes back yeah and, yeah, yeah. she's mixing up with that drug dealer yeah and, and i think sometimes she prostitutes and, mm -hmm. and what's her and her name is what sylvia yes. patrice and sylvia yeah they sisters yeah. they're not bible beating over spiritual foaming at the mouth groups mm. come in hallelujah Good night. Glory. Small group. Bless you, brother. Bless you. Have a seat. Shanamaya. Coming in a Honda. Welcome to small group, brother. If you are part of this small group, you must have your purple cloth that I received from the Vatican, as well as your prayer cloth from Israel. Because the wise man knows. The wise man knows. In the name of Jesus. Hmm. And they're not weird, out of space looking characters. Can you have a small group? Come on in! They're really just normal people like you and I, doing life together. We all become great friends and have a support for us as we're on our journey together. So if you haven't joined a small group yet, make sure you sign up today in the foyer. Now here's Angie for What's Up in Student Ministries. Thanks, Yolanda. Hi, everybody. Tanette here, and I'm stepping in for Angie this week. In Kids Electric, we continue to learn about determination. In our Bible story, Ruth sticks by her friend Naomi in some very hard times. Our Bible story teaches us that determination means that you may have to stick with a friend no matter what, no matter how long it takes, and no matter what it takes to help your friend through tough times, you must be determined to see it through. In Cuddle Care and Adventure Kids, we continue to learn that we can talk to Jesus anytime and anywhere. Not only can we talk to Jesus and tell him how much we love him, we can show Jesus how much we love him, just like the woman who poured perfume on Jesus' feet. We can show Jesus we love him today by showing others love and by sharing with them. So that's what's up in Student Ministries. Back to you, Yolanda. For more information on these and other upcoming events, visit our website at www.myharvestfamily.com. Now take a look at these quick reminders and enjoy your worship experience. 